Many thanks for joining us. Our sign language interpreter at the bottom end of your screen is Meresha Owiti. Now, President Uhuru Kenyatta has rejected a bill seeking to send parking. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission CEO Halake Wako and his deputy Michael Mubea. The move secures the jobs for Wako and Mubea, even as the president supported a move by MPs to give powers to appoint ESCC commissioners to the Public Service Commission instead of a selection panel. Rita Tinina begins our newscast with that story. Member would want to bring a different uh, op opinion. I will give an opportunity. So let us. On the 9th of July, the National Assembly passed the Ethics and Anti Corruption Commission Amendment Bill 2015, seeking to send home the ESCC Chief Executive Halake Wako and his deputy Michael Mubea. The MPs who voted 70 to 39 also changed the appointment model for ESCC commissioners by removing a recruitment panel and giving the role to the Public Service Commission. Since then, pressure has been mounting on President Uru Kenyatta not to assent to the bill. Well, MPs will not have their way entirely, and the ESCC CEO and his deputy can now rest easy. In a memorandum dated the 31st of July, President Uru Kenyatta has rejected Clause 6 of the bill, which would have seen Halake Wako and Michael Mubea go home. The president wants them and other commission officials to remain in office. In his recommendation, the president says, every person who immediately before the commencement of this act was an employee of the commission shall upon such commencement continue to serve in his or her respective position in accordance with the contract of employment. The president has largely agreed with MPs on Clause 4, which sought to give powers to appoint EACC commissioners to the Public Service Commission instead of a selection panel. MPs had proposed the PSC shortlists without mention of advertising or interviewing, neither had they proposed a given timeline. Uhuru Kenyatta's recommendation stipulates that wherever a vacancy arises in the membership of the commission, the Public Service Commission shall, within 14 days after the vacancy arises, advertise, interview, and shortlist three qualified applicants for each vacancy and forward the names of applicants so qualified to the president for appointment. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Amendment Bill 2015, which was sponsored by the Justice and Legal Affairs Committee, was initially only meant to increase the number of commissioners. But Opposition Deputy Whip Chris Wamalwa introduced his amendment seeking to send home the ESCC officials in what he argued would give the commission a fresh start. Having failed to get the president's nod, the bill is headed back to the National Assembly for MPs to consider the recommendations. If MPs want to reject the recommendations, they have to garner a two-thirds majority, something that may be a tall order. Rita Tinina, KTN News.